We will love and miss Pat, Bol Pat Bolin and all of us at Channel 9 send our condolences to that wonderful family. June happens to be Alzheimer's and Brain, Aware uh, Brain Awareness Month, which is one of the reasons I am here. I am here, and according to the Alzheimer's Association, 5.8 million Americans are now living with Alzheimer's disease in our country. That number expected to jump to 14 million by 2050. Both Pat Bolin and his wife Annabelle, of course, struggling with the diagnosis. And Dr. Camilla Sasson is here today as well. And we were both talking. A lot of people know that I'm a caregiver, and that's one reason I'm still so involved with the Alzheimer's Association but they may not know that you just lost your mother to dementia three months ago. I'm so sorry for you. Yeah, you know, I think it's really, um, it's one of those things, even as a healthcare provider, I don't think you necessarily realize um, how challenging it's going to be, not just to take care of your mom, but then to actually see them go through the stages of dementia and then ultimately pass as well. And so, you know, I think I feel like, feel a, a kinship, if you will, to the Bolins right there now and are, just understand yes. how much they're going through. I think all the Alzheimer's and dementia families, mm -hmm. families do. And uh, we were just talking about how dementia is just another branch of the Alzheimer's tree, and there's a new number on it. 47 million people on the planet suffer with dementia, a new diagnosis every three seconds, and usually a woman. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we live a little bit longer, so we're going to be more likely to get dementia for sure. You know, I think the thing that's interesting, too, is with Alzheimer's, what it really is is kind of a collection of plaques, of those beta amyloid plaques that will interrupt the, the connections between the nerve cells. And so that's really where the kind of the, the Alzheimer's diagnosis can start was is between that beta amyloid plaque that you see. And you can see on this graphic here, you've also got these tau tangles that start to develop as well. And that's where you start, again, damaging the inside of the neuron as well. So you've got damage inside the neuron, outside the neuron, and that's what really causes that Alzheimer's. So it's a very delicate thing to get into the brain to try mm -hmm. to fix this problem. And it advances actually very slowly, but still finding the right drug to combat Alzheimer's is a, is, a, is a pretty high mountain to climb. Two drugs mm -hmm. currently in the pipeline. One is BAN2401. Mm -hmm. Esai and Biogen are working on this drug. And Dr. Hunt Potter, right out at CU Anschutz, now in the middle of this whole research firestorm with Leukine. Uh, that, those field trials just about to begin, but we're uh, holding out for those two drugs because Alzheimer's remains the sixth leading cause of death in our country, the fifth leading cause of death for uh, older Americans over the age of 65. No prevention, no mm -hmm. treatment, cur currently no cure. Well, and I think it's hard to because a lot of times you don't actually get diagnosed until you have really far progression of the disease, and I think that's what makes it so challenging. Those symptoms probably started about 20 years before that, and I think that's where you start thinking, gosh, there's a lot of that link between the heart health and the brain health, and I think a lot of us aren't really necessarily thinking about that in our 20s and 30s and 40s, but it's something that we have to do. And we're talking about brain health and yeah. heart health together. Mm -hmm. uh, Hunt Potter, I know, loves to recommend uh, heavy mm -hmm. exercise, uh, to remain very social, and also to drink five cups of coffee a day. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of coffee. You, <laughs> I will you say, and I hit that mark. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I probably do not on purpose Steve necessarily. Steve Spangler so. <laughs> just passed out over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh boy, all right. Definitely the oh, exercise, yeah, the, right. the Mediterranean diet is going to be good for you as well. And then anything that you can do for your heart is going to be good for your brain. So checking that blood pressure, that cholesterol, all really important as well. All Thank right. you, Camilla. Yeah, Thanks the important thing is, well. is that we're talking about it. Exactly. You know, that, that there's awareness and we continue to, to raise that awareness. Uh, Dr. Camilla, Mark, always good to see both of you. Thanks for Thank coming you. in today.